welcome to the Battle of Evesham on Evesham Crown Meadow. I'm Mick Hurst, I'm one of the directors and organisers of the medieval festival that you see around you here today. We're hoping to attract around 10 to 15,000 people here to the streets of Evesham to commemorate one of the major battles of the 13th century. I've been coming here for the past four years, ever since the first one I came to 2015. I'm here playing Humphrey de Bouin, one of the barons on the rebel side. This is a great event. We've got hundreds of reenactors here, living history encampments, markets, lots of stuff to go and see. People can get hands on with history. They can smell the food. They can try the weapons. They can do so much to bring history to life for them. You can watch the battle and you can cheer for the side which you believe ought to have won. The battle itself was between the Royalist Prince Edward and the rebel Simon de Montfort, who didn't like the way that King Henry was running the government. Simon de Montfort raised his army of 5,000 men, went down to Lewis, captured the king, brought him as a hostage to Evesham Abbey, but then his son, Prince Edward, raised an army of 10,000 men and came to Evesham and basically slaughtered de Montfort's men and rescued his dad. So it's a pretty nasty battle, but it was the way modern parliament is formed today. And here we have 500 reenactors, 12 knights on horseback, and they're all reenacting both the Battle of Lewis and the Battle of Evesham. My name's Andrew Thornton. I've been doing Evesham and the reenactments here since 2015. I am currently one of the Prince's groundmen. I look after his ponies and horses and make sure he is looked after in the field of battle. If you're still looking at this, come down next year because it's going to happen all over again in 2020, 1st and 2nd of August. <laughs>